All right, guys, so we have the Model 3 Ludacris right here in front of me in red performance version. Now, when I did get this car, or technically my girl, when she did get this car, they did give her the 7,500 off of this car right here, but they have taken that away. So when we did go to the dealership to pick this up, they were asking us like, when did you place your order and all this other stuff? And we were wondering like, why? Because they did take that incentive away where you get 7,500 off the purchasing price. And now they did take that completely away. So you don't even have that option anymore. But one thing that I don't really like about the car is how the rim takes up all of the space where you can see the brake pads. So in my opinion, I wish they would have made that a little bit skinnier like the Model Y. Um, but other than that, I love the car. I love how it looks. Um, the seats are amazing. So I'm going to be showing you guys all that stuff right now. So as you guys can see, my Tesla Model Y is on right now. And there's no water leaking from it. But then when we go to the Model 3, you see how it's leaking right here? I don't know why it's leaking, but I just noticed that it has been leaking. And I'm not sure why that is. If anybody knows, let me know in the comments box below. But my Y is not leaking, but this one is leaking. So let me know why that is, if you guys know. All right, guys, so let's just take a look at the car right here. What do you guys think about this color? I think it's a really nice color. But this is the performance model right here. Once again, we did get the 7,500 off of the price. They do have it for the long range still and the performance model. But at first, they only had it for the performance, but they added it recently to the long range and not the basic. Show you guys the front of the car. I love the lip on this car. I love the whole new design, everything that they've done to it. It looks a little bit more meaner, a little bit more sexier in my opinion. You can also see the badges in the seats from here. I'm gonna show you guys that on the inside in a minute. But um, just let me know what you guys think. Think about the car in general. We still get the same cameras and everything on the car. So this is the back of the car. Just looks really, really nice and clean. We also get the badge back there. Really, really nice. Open up the trunk for you guys here in a minute, but just wanna show you guys the back of the car. One more time i want to make this as fast as possible and another big thing is that they have the tesla written out now instead of it just having the logo right there really really nice i also feel like the spoiler on the back is a little bit bigger and longer so opening up the trunk here we do already have some bags in there we got some mats I do have all these mats linked on my amazon store so make sure you guys go check that out if you want to get the same mats i have i have some different ones in my car um I feel like at first when i first got them you know they didn't really mold right but after a while they molded perfectly and i really do like these because once you power wash them they get really really clean and i've had these for six months now and they work amazing and great but coming over back to this car right now you guys can see the lights and everything on and they just look amazing in the frame right here so if you guys can see that real quick the front of this car just looks amazing, especially with the lights on. It just looks so mean, so sexy. What do you guys think? All right, guys, so on the back seat here, as you guys see, we get this nice new display. You can control the air, you can control the music, the games on here, pretty much the same thing. A little bit of a settings here, the volume from back here, depending on how much, you know, how loud you want it to be and how low you want it to be. You can also control the air back here, move it around with your hand, same like you can do on the front, if you guys are wondering about that. So you can push it to the side and glide your hand just where you want the air to be blowing back here. And you feel it right from here. All right, just in case you guys are wondering. Now, another thing and a new thing, you guys can control the seats from back here. So if somebody is not wanting to move up their seat, you can easily just push this button. And you guys can see the seat is moving forward and backwards. So that's pretty dope. You can control the air from back here if you want the seats to be heated. So it's like an extra touch screen back here, which is really, really nice. On the door panel here, this is what it looks like. Black trim. The lights are not on right now, but I will be showing you guys the ambient lighting a little bit later on. So another thing that I really do like about this car is how quiet it is closing and opening the cabin. So when I open up the car right here, you guys can hear me close it. And it sounds a lot different from the older models of the Tesla. So I'm going to show you guys now the point of view. So now I'm going to do the same thing on the Model Y 2023 performance and watch how much louder this is. So we got a very different upgrade, much needed upgrade, as you guys can hear. I'm going to do that one more time on the way quieter. 
So this is the seats right here in the front seat. We get that nice badge in there and we get a nice sporty seat as you guys can see. Now, if you guys see these little holes on this seat, other models do not come with this. So newer models does have a cooling system. So the back seats only have heating, but the front seats have cooling and heating now, which is a new feature. So I'm gonna show you guys that real fast, but just look at the seats right here, really nice. You get that nice badge in the front seat. You guys can see like the little ventilation in the seat right here. So this is the new cooling system right here. You guys just hit it. And as you guys can see, it has three levels, just like the heating, but you can feel it in the seats. When you have clothes on, it's not like a, oh my God, my seat is freezing, but it does feel really nice and refreshing. So one thing I just noticed right now is that our seat actually makes a little bit of noise now. I don't know how distracting it will be in the long run, but I did think that it was coming from the middle console right here now that we have the screen and, you know, we can get an extra airflow through there. But it's actually the seat making noise from the cooling system. You guys can hear it. I'm going to be quiet real fast. So that noise that you hear is my seat right now. So when I have the music on, it doesn't really bother me. But if you like a quiet car, I'm not sure if that will, you know, irritate you or whatnot. But I just want to make that clear. You will have a little bit of noise in your seats now if you have the car seat on cooling. So this is the steering wheel, the new steering wheel, as you guys can see. It's no more paddle shifter. So it took me a little bit of time to really get used to, you know, having the blinkers right here. But... You know, as time has gone on, it does feel pretty normal, I will say. Now, I know it's not super dark out, but the best feature that has been added to this car, in my opinion, is the ambient lighting. And you guys can change to all these colors right here. And as you guys can see on the panel, they just going around. I'm probably going to do another video at nighttime where you guys can see this, but it just looks so clean. And I really do love that they did add this on the car stock. So hopefully, you know, when the new Model Y comes out, the same thing is added. But this just changes the game right here, man. I love this about the car. One of the best features, in my opinion. Also, the glove box is now a magnet, so it's not as hard to close it. And it's just closed automatically with one snap by itself. I'll show you guys what it looks like with the high beams on. So I'm going to do it real quick. That's how it looks from the front with the high beams on. Just in case you guys are wondering. Guys, so something I just noticed in the car... I'm gonna turn off the light real quick. It's gonna get really dark, but the ambient lighting is not as bright for some reason. I don't know why, um, but when I hit auto and I like try to mess with it, you see how much brighter it did get right there? So I'm not really sure why the ambient lighting is getting, I'm not really sure why the ambient lighting is getting darker when I actually you know, take off the settings and put it to on. So when I have it off, it's just regular. And then when I have the lights on, you know, it's not as bright. So when I act like I'm gonna fix the lighting though, it's amazing, it's really, really bright. But I don't know if when you're driving, they just get light automatically. <laughs> I don't know how that works. This is my first car with ambient lighting. <laughs> and I'm so happy that the Tesla got it, but I'm not really sure why. So as I'm about to drive now, they just stay that way. And the ambient lighting is on. So I'm not sure if this is like the brightest it goes while you're driving, but I guess this is something I'm going to have to figure out and learn. Or if you guys know how to fix this, let me know in the comments box below. But they don't really seem as bright when you're driving. But as you're fixing it, it looks amazing. Really disappointed right now. I think that when you're driving, the lights automatically get dim. Like as I open up the door, watch how bright it gets. Well, actually, it's already bright. <laughs> so you guys won't be able to tell. But as I'm putting it in drive, watch how dark it gets. So I really don't like that. And as you guys see, when I put it back in part, it got brighter um hopefully they fix that with an update but the whole point of having ambient lighting is so it can be a little bit more brighter in the car and you would think that they made this to you know save energy but there's no option on the screen here to have it like a certain percentage of how you want the lights bright which is kind of weird as well so um hopefully we get an update on that or hopefully i just don't know what i'm doing <laughs> but let me know if you guys are having the same issue in your car so take three I just found out that you can actually have it on the screen, but you basically have to leave it on this actual screen where it says accent lighting. So that is really stupid. Like you have to drive with this on your screen. I don't really get that. So if you leave it on this screen right here, as you guys can see, it stays bright, but I don't know if they're doing that for safety reasons. I've also have experienced that as well. Like this car is really safe. So if somebody's even crossing in front of you or a car's basically speeding past you sometimes when you put your foot on the gas it doesn't let you accelerate 
and basically it's telling you like something is wrong or something is there which i really love about the car but um as you guys can see now the lights is really bright but you have to stay with this on the screen now i'm going to try to go to a different screen right here and see if it works but as you guys see as soon as i popped out of that screen it did go back to dimming the light so i really don't like that hopefully we do get an update on that really fast on the next update for tesla but that really really sucks in my opinion all right guys so i'm driving the car and it just feels really really smooth um the cabin even is a lot quieter i don't hear like a little bit of wind coming from the window draft it just feels very very smooth driving this car i don't hear any wind any draft from the windows the cabin is on point in this upgraded model and it's super duper smooth like i just ran over a bump right there and it was super smooth i'm i might have to get this model man i'm waiting for the new model y but this thing feels amazing i'm coming from a car so it really makes me miss my car <laughs> like it just feels like you're in a sports car it just feels like super duper amazing i'm gonna show you guys a zero to 60 really fast and just watch how this thing takes off on people i mean like you're not catching up to me if you try to speed up you're not even gonna know i'm coming that's how fast this thing is we're gonna test it out right now so ready oh my goodness oh my god this thing is amazing oh. <laughs> so this is also new in the car normally this is in the mirror but now when cars pass us as you guys can see it's like a red dot right there and that is new on this model 3 ludicrous it's not doing it right now because no cars kind of pass me but there it is right there you see that dot so that is new feature that they added as you guys see the lights on this thing is still amazing even a little bit better in my opinion so they do adapt so if a car is coming the high beams will automatically go off and on so you know that is still the same but it's just a beautiful car all the way around so it did only cost me 20 bucks to charge from 20 percent to 80 percent now you guys can see that i was getting 50 kwh and it did cost me 40 cents per kwh and i would say to only charge your car up to 80 to 85 percent when you first get it just like your phone don't always charge it to 100 percent. but lately i have been charging my y to 100 percent or not even 100 percent, like 95 percent, and i have not been noticing any differences in the charging or if the battery has been deteriorating but my car is still pretty new but um i would say if you did charge it all the way up to 100 percent, it may cost you around 25 bucks so it still does save you a lot of money in my opinion so far i still am using the six months free on my tesla model y which they took away from pretty much any purchase now so i really don't know how much it's costing to charge up that car but for this car it is still pretty affordable at 40 cents and charging from 20 to 80 percent normally takes around 30 to 35 minutes just in case you guys are wondering so the last thing i want to talk about is i am hearing like a little creak in the car when i'm going forward and backwards i'm not sure how long it's going to last but i did have a creak in my model y 2023 performance and it lasted for about 5,000 miles so i don't hear it anymore but this is a brand new car can you check the tire threads and everything like that because if it's a brand new car what does it have 15 miles on it um they gave us this whole run around about how you know they had to move it to an off-site and everything like that that has space in their lot whatever the case may be but um the leaking from the car and the noise from the car is really the only thing really upsetting me so i'm gonna get in the car and show you guys when i go forward it's like a little crunching noise it's not really like a creak like the older models do have this model has like the you know when you first get out your car and it starts to make like a static noise or like a crinkle noise like that that's the noise that i'm hearing while i'm going forward and backwards at about 10 to 15 miles per hour so i'm going to get in the car and show you guys that real fast and end this video
so i hope you guys heard that um let me know if you guys have had that issue with your new car so far i'm gonna go check it out and see what it is this weekend and i'll keep you guys updated on that but other than that i love the car it's fast it's amazing it drives really really nice and smooth and um, I'll see you guys on the next one. I'm going to say thank you guys for the support. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. Show your boy some love. And stay tuned.